not such a large group so far away, so I'll do my best to try and explain. <coughs> so good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. As Nami said in her <coughs> beautiful intro, I'm a food and fitness coach, so this is what I do for a living. If you've ever found yourself in the morning opening the fridge and realize that you're out of milk, so you opt to skip breakfast. You're at the office, you have a boring sandwich in your desk, and you opt to go with your work colleague to get something to eat out of the office. You may find yourself in a car at 5.30 with your spouse questioning what you're going to have for supper. You look at each other, what do you want? Well, I don't know, what do you want? So out of desperation and frustration, you find yourself at a drive through window trying, struggling to pick a healthy choice. And these are just the three scenarios that I hear quite frequently from a lot of my clients. And so what I'm going to present to you today is my secret that I've used to help my clients get fit, stay fit, get them off a diet, and on an effective meal plan. Because one of the things that I find clients struggle with the most, and this is general population, is they have preconceived notions of what eating is. You see, we think breakfast is cereal or eggs. We think lunch is a sandwich, a salad, or a soup. We think that supper consists of some type of meat, some type of starch, like a rice or a potato, and if we're venturous, there'll be some form of vegetable there to kind of make a complete meal. This is what we, we, we perceive eating to be. What happens is when you have that traditional way of looking at food, you think within that box. And what happens is you end up getting very bored because you have most families had about eight to ten recipes that I find with a lot of my clients that they use repetitively over and over and over again. The first thing you say is, Courtney, do you have any recipes? I'm getting bored of what I'm eating. And so what I'm going to present to you is a creative but very simple way to look at food to break that traditional way of looking at food so that you can have more variety, more creativity, and have much greater success staying on a healthy living plan. And it's a system I call the Quick Fit, F-I-T, plan. And it's based on the IT factors. I'm going to share with you just four of these IT factors tonight. And once you understand how these IT factors work, this becomes a very simplistic way to eliminate boredom, to prepare meals in advance, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. So hopefully you walk away with some great ideas for effective, healthy meal planning. So these factors. The first one is a blend it. I've got a super shake, I like to call it. It's a complete meal in a glass. Blend it up less than five minutes. The other one is bake it. Okay, I've got a few options here. One is a patata. If you're not familiar with that, it's almost like a baked omelet. Baked in the oven. The other one is a healthy granola bar. So those are the bacon options. The other one is toss it. So you might traditionally think toss it is a salad. But I've got a sample here, it's called Moroccan chicken. And so it's just a bunch of stuff thrown and tossed into a pot and within five, ten minutes it's done. All right. The other one I have here is a really light, sort of crisp chicken toss salad but without the lettuce. And the other it factor in these four factors is the rapid. Right, so I'm going to show you some different options of how to wrap things. And the reason why I created this system is because there's a lot of overlap in ingredients. That's why we often get bored of the same things in the fridge. But if we only think of one way to use it, then again, we're limited. Right? So I'm going to show you how we can mix and match these it factors. Right? So the first one I'll go back to is the blended. So this is a shake. And again, this is a complete meal. It can be a breakfast. All right, in and of itself, because it is a complete meal, it's got protein, it's got good carbs in there, it's got healthy fat, it's got a little bit of honey in there to give you a little bit of boost in the morning. So great breakfast option. On the go, which I get asked quite frequently, you can put it in a thermos, take it with you, but then it also becomes a mid-morning snack or a late afternoon snack. Okay, it'll keep because this is frozen berries and some ice in here, so it'll keep all day in a the thermos. Okay. You can take that a step further if you want a more heartier breakfast. You can mix the blend it with a bake it and you can add a granola bar to it. Right. Another thing you can do is to take this blend it and I'm going to introduce you to one of the other it factors and you can pour it 
in these little freezeable containers. You may have grown up on them. I used to put Kool-Aid in them when I was a kid. You freeze it, and then you pop it. All right. So it's a great way to have a healthy snack. It's amazing for kids, but I find it's really great at night where you kind of sit in the TV, you feel like ice cream, and you just want a little something smaller than something after dinner. Okay? Guilt-free. So that's the blended. The bake it again is the granola bar and the patata. The patata again, keeping with the traditional way of thinking about how to eat, we've got eggs. All right. This is a full meal in itself because you've got the healthy fats in there, you've got your protein, you've got lots of vegetables. These are super fast to make, 10 minutes, and you slice it up. You've got not only a breakfast because you've got your egg. If you want a heartier breakfast, you just add some mixed fruit with some yogurt, some nuts on top, and you've got a beautiful breakfast. Not only is that a breakfast option, but it's also a lunch option. Put it with a nice salad. Don't forget your dressing on the salad. Heat this up at the office with a side salad. You've got a great lunch. Take that a step further. If you want a little bit of carbohydrates for your supper, you could easily take a wrap, for example, and stuff the salad in the wrap or the pita. You've got a bit more of a heartier meal option for supper. These bake it, I've actually discovered with late night cravings, Similar to a granola bar you may have seen that is dipped in chocolate. Dark chocolate is one of the 21 superfoods in life. It's a guilt-free treat. These are phenomenal, phenomenal when dipped, so you've got to dip it now, in chocolate, which then you can pop it. So now you've got a bake it, a dip it, and a pop it. So again, it's a fun, creative way to start thinking about what I can be doing with this food and these leftovers that I have. And you're all more than welcome. I'll pass these around after. Not the one that I touched, but <laughs> pass it around after, and you guys can sample those. One of the things that's missing in all the uh, granola bars you see at the store is protein. Thir there's 15 grams of protein in this granola bar. If you want to find out how I do it, then you can ask me, and I'll tell you. I'll give you the recipe. And then the tossed. So we've got again this Moroccan chicken. Everything's tossed together. We've got this nice salad. So we've got this salad. You guys can't see, but I could take this toss it again, so it's a toss once, but I can toss it with this leafy green salad to get more of my vegetables in, because I've had this for the potato, I've got some leftovers, so why not mix it together. Then I can take these two and then wrap it. So I can take a tortilla wrap, either take the Moroccan chicken or the salad, put it in the wrap and wrap it. I can open up a pita, put it in the pita, and I've stuffed it. Then I can put it on top sprinkle some cheese, and bake it. So you've got to toss it, a wrap it, or a bake it. Okay? The last one I would like to introduce is a low-carb option. It's called a lettuce wrap. You can put any of these ingredients in a lettuce wrap, wrap it up, take it with you to go. So if you'd like more information about this quick fit plan, I have a cookbook that's coming up this fall. And if you have any immediate questions, you can always contact me at the Courtney at thefitchick.ca. I'd be happy to share these recipes with you.